What is going on, wonderful people? It's Medicosis Perfectionatus. Welcome back to my statistics playlist. Today's topic will talk about the measure of central tendency. Let's suppose that this is a normal distribution curve. And let's say that hypothetically this represents household income. The average will be here in the center. That's why we say central tendency. And of course, some households will be higher than average, whereas other households will be below average. But how can we measure the average? There are three main methods to measure the average. There is the mean, the median, and the mode. And there are many types of mean. Today, we'll focus on the arithmetic mean, not to be confused with the geometrical mean and other types of mean. If you want to learn about the geometrical mean, please refer to my chemistry playlist where we use the geometrical mean to calculate the atomic mass. We will also talk about the range in today's lecture. Click the like button, click the subscribe button, and let's get started. Some words of wisdom. There are three kinds of lies. Lies, damned lies, and statistics. There are numerous ways to lie using statistics. Politicians and the media do this all the time. For example, when they talk about the average income, this is very vague because average could be mean, it could be the median or it could be the mode. And even the mean has many types. So when someone says to you, the average is X, ask, what do you mean by average? Is it the mean, the median or mode? What does the word median mean? Median means in the middle, which means half of the values will be greater than this and half of the values will be less than that. And the median is in the middle. Okay, how about the mode? It came from the French a la mode. What does a la mode mean? It means trendy. What does that mean? The most repeated value. So if I have five, 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 and it gets repeated more than anything else, then five is a la mode. Five is trendy because it gets repeated the most. Make sure to save my statistics playlist. If you wish to converse with me, said Voltaire, define your terms. So let's define our terms by using this example. Here we have a set of five numbers. 5, 1, 5, 12, and 10. Let's try to calculate the mean, the median, the mode, and the range. Let's start with the mean, the arithmetic mean. All right, how do you do this? Basically, it's the sum of all of the values divided by their number. And what's the sum of all the values? You simply add them up together. 5 plus 1 plus 5 plus 12 plus 10. And what's their number? Simply count them. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth. I have five numbers in total. Five plus five is 10, plus one is 11, plus 12 is 23, plus 10 is 33. So it is 33 divided by five or 6.6. .6. And this is the mean. The median is in the middle. And to get the median first, you need to arrange these numbers from the smallest to the largest. So one, 5, 5, then 10, and then 12. And then to find the number that's exactly in the middle, you cancel the one on the left with the one on the right. And then the second one with the second one from the other side. And then what's the number that's exactly in the middle? This is 5, so 5 is the median. Third, we have the mode. Which number is repeated the most? Which one is a la mode? The answer is 5. It is repeated twice. So the mode here is 5. How about the range? The range is basically the maximum value minus the minimum value. And what's the maximum number here? Well, the greatest number is 12. And what is the smallest number here? It is 1. 12 minus 1 is 11. And this is the range. So to recapitulate, the arithmetic mean is 6.6. .6, the median is 5. The mode is also 5. And the range is 11. Pause and review. Question number two, here is a set of numbers. Please pause the video and try to find the mean, the median, the mode, and the range. Now pause. Okay, so what should I do first? I would start by arranging these numbers from the smallest to the biggest. So this will be two, and then four, and then six, and then eight, and then 10, and another 10, and then 12. Let's find the mean. The mean is the sum divided by their numbers. So what's the sum? It's two plus four plus six plus eight plus 10 plus 10 plus 12. And their number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you divide all of this by seven. And then six plus four is 10. 
2 plus 8 is another 10, so that's 20 in total. Plus 10 plus 10, this is 40. And plus 12 is 52. 52 divided by 7 equals 7.43, and this is the arithmetic mean. Next, how about the median? To find the median, you cancel. Cancel the first on the left with the first on the right. Cancel the second on the left with the second on the right. Cancel the third on the left with the third on the right. Which number is exactly in the middle? The answer is 8, so 8 is the median. How about the mode? Which one is repeated the most? 10 is repeated twice, but other than that, everything is only repeated once. So the mode, a la mode, is 10. It's the most trendy. Last, we have the range. The range is the maximum value minus the minimum value. The biggest minus the smallest. The biggest number here is 12, and the smallest is 2. So 12 minus 2 is 10. So to recap, the mean is 7.43, the median is 8, the mode is 10, and the range is 10. Here is another question. We have four numbers. Please pause the video and find the mean, the median, the mode, and the range. Now pause. Okay, let's get organized and rearrange them from smallest to largest, like this. What is the mean? You simply add them all up together, divide by their number, and since I have only four numbers, you divide by four. In the numerator, I have 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 10. 3 plus 7 is 10, and another 10 is 20, and 5 is 25. 25 divided by 4, well, I know that 24 divided by 4 is 6, so there is a remainder of 1. Divided by 4 is a quarter, so it is 6 and a quarter. How about the median? Well, let's see. Let's cancel the one on the left with the one on the right. Oh, but if I cancel these, there will be nothing in the middle. So what should I do? You treat these two middle values as if they are a mean. So 5 plus 7 divided by 2. Why is this different here? Because in the previous examples, I gave you a set of odd numbers. In the first question, we had five numbers in total. In the second one, I had seven numbers in total. Both were odd numbers, so it was easy to grab the number in the middle. But if you have an even set of numbers, such as four numbers, as you see here, you take the two in the middle and add them together, divide them by two. So their sum divided by their number. Five plus seven is 12 divided by two is six. So the median is six. How about the mode? The mode is the most repeated number, a la mode. What's the most repeated number here? No one. So there is no mode because each number is only repeated once. And then the range is the greatest minus the smallest. The biggest number is 10, the smallest is 3, 10 minus 3 is 7. So in a nutshell, the mean is 6.25, the median is 6, the mode does not exist, and the range is 7. Here is another question. Please pause the video, find the mean, median, mode, and range, and let me know your answer in the comments. Let's see who arrives at the correct answers first. If you want to learn about sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, negative predictive value, positive likelihood ratio, negative likelihood ratio, prevalence, accuracy, and more, check out my video titled Epidemiology and Biostatistics, which you can find in this statistics playlist. Help me make more videos by supporting my channel. Go to buymeacoffee.com slash medicosis. There are more than 600 premium videos available on this channel when you click the join button and choose the highest tier. Please subscribe, hit the bell, smash like, support my channel on Patreon, PayPal or Venmo, go to my website to download my courses, notes and cases, or if you would like me to personally tutor you. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine, chemistry, math and physics make perfect sense.